you guys it's brandon 302 and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how hackers or how people put viruses into free models on roblox studio so let's get right into the video so first we're going to want to stop playing all right and as you guys can see there's the toolbox up here now so many people use this when they're trying to make a game because there's free models in here that you guys can use put into your game as you guys can see 54 scripts in here and yeah now i'm able to use this pink car in my game all right it's that easy that's why people love using free models i mean i use free models as well because it's so good so helpful but there's one problem with free models people can put viruses into the game so that's what we're going to be going over in this video we're going to be kind of exposing how they do this how hackers or how people put viruses into your game so i'm going to be showing you two different examples and the first example is just grabbing a free model just like this over here so we're going to be grabbing this 2019 sports car right we're going to drop it into the game and it does say it has scripts all right so roblox is notifying you guys that there is scripts in this so whatever the scripts in your free model you should always check and read to make sure it's not sketchy all right so we're gonna click ok and then we're gonna click play and then what the teleport failed whoa 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 i'm in roblox studio where where is it trying to teleport me what's going on so now if we go into this free model here let's just close the toolbox for now if we go into the free model it did say there was 14 scripts all right so that's why you guys should always go around go through all this and check all these scripts all right so actually the virus script is in the wheels here and there's a bunch of stuff you have to look through but it's actually at the very bottom one on wheels fixed and as you guys can see there's a script there why would there be a script in the right wheel when there's no scripts in the other wheels hmm so if we open this script this does not even look like English. Like, what is going on? What is the script? And what is it saying? All right. So actually what this is, is it's hex code. All right. So actually what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to decode this stuff to what the actual word is. All right. So as you can see, underscore zero X five four. All right. So right here, I'm going to be using a hex converter. So it's going to convert the hex code into actual English. So what this first part means, underscore zero X five four, all right. The underscore zero X is telling Roblox, is telling the script that this is hex code, all right. So it can actually properly translate it. But what 54 stands for, it literally just stands for T, all right, just T. But down here in the script, you guys can see something say teleport which is a little suspicious about the script i'm not even gonna lie why would there be a teleporting script in a wheel on a car <laughs> okay so what this means is t all right this next thing if we go here and convert it it just stands for t but lowercase all right so there's actually two of these as you can see there's one and two here lowercase t's and two uppercase t's then we got a 70 here here and here standing for lowercase p all right so it's crazy that roblox lets you do this because i'm going to actually translate this what it's doing what these few things are doing and boom right there i just changed two of them already and the first one stands for teleport service and the second one stands for target place id all right so so that gives us the idea that it's actually teleporting all right but then we got this over here and all that stands for is just player so what this is technically saying now is when the player gets added it will function this script right here now this stands for s here this stands for s and this stands for e all right so we're going to be translating this as well so the s is for success and the e is for error message all right now what this is saying is it's saying that when the player gets added it's going to teleport them to the target place id so it's going to t 
teleport them to this game ID. All right, and then we got some last line of code, which is very long here. All right, so if you put this into the hex translator, as you guys can see, it says teleport service. So if we just delete all of this, it says teleport service as well. All right, and that's it. That's it, it's just a teleport script, but it's hidden in hex code. So I don't even know why Roblox allows hex code in this, like, like in this stuff. Because if you, if you don't know what hex code is, then I don't even know how you're supposed to know what this script is even doing. And now for the second example, you go into the toolbox, you search up a certain script, let's search up a stat script, all right? And boom, we got some stat scripts in here. So now, if we drag it, place it in, say it has the virus in it, we open up the script, it looks kind of like a normal script, I'm not even gonna lie, all right? <clears throat> As you guys can see, here's all the data stores here, and this is it saving the data. But, you might notice one thing from before. As you guys can see, we got local data stores here, which aren't suspicious, but we got local underscore zero x five four. All right, we got this thing, but it looks weird this time because it's not all in a nice order like the last one. So what some people try to do is they try making it stretch across the screen or they make it hidden over there. So you have to scroll over to read what it says. All right, so I already translated this last time and it just translate translates to the teleporting script. All right. So what this script is doing, the script actually works. It works, luckily. But this one line of code here is teleporting you. So if we try playing the game, sorry, I have to enable the script first. There we go. If we try joining the game, teleport failed. And the reason why it's failing is because I'm in Roblox Studio. So obviously you can't teleport me to another game. But as you guys can see, it does work. Look at this, it does work. So that's what some people try doing. It is a working script, but it does have a virus in it. So yeah, if you guys see any sketchy kind of code, <laughs> if you guys see any sketchy kind of code in your script, just delete that or check with someone first that knows how to code properly. Because as you guys can see, now I'm in here and the script properly works and I'm not getting teleported anywhere. All right. So. Um, I would say still use free models, but be careful with what you get from free models, especially when you're loading it in here and it says it has scripts. You always want to check every single script and make sure it's not sus, all right? So, I hope this video helped you understand a little bit more about sketchy scripts and stuff on Roblox. Here's the original code here, as you guys can see. It's literally just a normal code, but hidden into hex code. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. And bye.